there's always this one question in everyone's life that when will i get success when will that lucky time strike in our life and we move towards prosperity we move towards happiness and joy so this video will focus on when will the bhagyaday happen what is bhagyaday definition in vedic astrology and when will bhagyaday happen in your life from which time onwards the struggles of your life will minimize and the return over investments the investments which you've been doing in your life related to time money finances karma when will you get the result it's the time of bhagyaday when all these things will happen so let's watch this video till the end please and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button let me know you guys are watching this video i really appreciate all your messages all your likes all your subscribes coming in that really helps this channel and this video to go a very long way to many many other people my name is gautam host for this channel i am the vedic astrologer from the beautiful country of canada and today is a very critical topic of bhagyaday there is very less topics like bhagyaday which has been discussed in the entire fraternity of astrology vedic astrology specifically so let's discuss what is bhagyaday bhagyaday means if i divide this word bhagyoday means which means bhagya ka uday which means the rising time of your life the rising time now bhagyoday is directly associated with the d9 or the navamsa chart in the divisional chart branch of vedic astrology navamsa can really help you to understand what is the bhagyoday navamsa is associated with the luck because navamsha or the the d9 is associated with the ninth house of the vedic astrology of your birth chart and ninth house of your chart is associated with so many things it is associated with your fortunes it is associated with your luck factor navamsha is associated typically with your personality your likes and dislikes your strengths and weaknesses in your life the characteristics your physical characteristics how you look how your personality is and how is your subconscious mind all these things are analyzed from this very beautiful navamsha chart so that's why you must have heard a lot about navamsha chart d9 navamsha is so important navamsha is important for all these points for all these things because ultimately navamsha is associated with the bhagyoday of a person's life so each planet as per the vedic astrology has a particular time of its bhagyoday now depending upon what is your navamsha lord your d9 lord what you can do is open your navamsha chart and try to see the first house which planet rules that navamsha chart overall which planet is the lord of the first house that is the planet of your bhagyoday now as i have indicated that each planet has a different age so on this chart which you can see on the screen that every planet has its age for example mars is 28th year of bhagyoday which means that if your d9 lord is mars after 28th birthday you are going to get immense success a huge success in your life till 28th birthday there will be struggles there will be some obstacles some ups and downs of you know some learning experience i would say rather but after 28th birthday the amount of productivity the amount of effectiveness in your life life will be very efficient after 28th birthday if mars is your d9 lord likewise as you can see jupiter is 16 years which is very early people with d9 lord as jupiter are very mature person from a very young age they get that responsibility in life and they are very very successful at a very young age in their career in their education very smart very clever and intelligent people comment below and let me know what is your d9 lord all right so bhagyoday also means that planets get activated at that age of the planet so for example if the d9 lord is saturn that means that the planet is getting activated on the age of 36 which is the planet saturn gets activated on 36 and after 36 onwards there will be a lot of happy time a fun time in your life a good time overall related to career related to marriage related to everything that's why we see sometimes people get early success in career but late marriage some people get married very early stage but there's no money the career is very late so there's you know something which is in sync for all the divisional charts typically bhagyoday really helps you to understand the lucky time the rising time of a person's life and 
when the bhagavad time strikes in your life from that time the planet is all ready to give its full impact so for example venus venus gets activated at the age of 25 which means that after 25th birthday venus and its impact in your life is to the full now there are two planets which are at a very later stage rahu gets activated at the age of 42 and ketu gets activated at the age of 48 that's the reason ketu is considered as the planet of spirituality by the time the planet gets activated it's too late it's almost half of the life or more than half of the life has already been done and even after that you feel okay now you're already 48 50 and this is a time to be more religious more spiritual and ketu gets really really more activated from there all right so this was all about bhagade in in this video today let's spark a discussion for bhagade over here we'll definitely discuss more intense vedic astrology related topics like bhagade in our next session till that time take care stay blessed and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button all right i'll see you bye